We are talking solar eclipse coming up on August 21st, now less than three weeks away. Few people are excited about the eclipse in the way our next guest is. He's an amateur astronomer whose name is Efrain Palermo, and he has built his own solar eclipse projector to catch the best images when this happens in the sky. Why did you do this? Well, actually, I built the first one during the Venus uh, transit in 2012. And it was happening in 10 minutes, and I only had 10 minutes to build something. So I had a downspout, and I had a sawhorse, and construction materials, and I had a pair of binoculars. So I put it together within 15 minutes and was able to see Venus going across the surface of the sun. Incredible. The downspout came in handy again for this projector you're going to use for the eclipse. Tell us, uh, walk us through, Efrain, how you built this. this is, these are materials that we can all get our hands on. Yeah, yeah, it's all Home Depot materials. This is a downspout, uh, and this is a concrete form tube and then we have a sawhorse. So everything is under like $30, really, in terms of materials. Uh, the only thing is, is the optics. Nobody that have a monocular, which is focusing the sun onto the plate that have the bottom of the tube. And where did you get that binocular? Actually, I bought that on Amazon, so it's kind of a, yeah, that, that's one of the more expensive items for this. But, you know, aside from that, uh, the materials are under like, you know, $40. So what will it do in terms of what I could see with some solar eclipse glasses on compared to the projector? What's the difference in the image? Well, the difference is you're looking at the sun in its natural light. Because if you, if you put your eyes in the direct path of the sun, you have to have sunglasses or goggles or the special uh, eclipse glasses. But with this, it's actually the natural light of the sun. And, it, and you can see the sun, it's really large, it's about seven inches in diameter. I know you put together a video on how to yeah. put this together, right? You've been sharing it with folks? Yes, yes, and that's one thing that's really interesting. I took it down to the waterfront during the Blues Festival just to see what would happen. And people were like crazy about it, very interested, especially kids and adults. And it's, for the, it's actually the first time that a lot of people have seen the sun with their own eyes. Right, without having goggles or anything. So if I look in there now, there's already an image that can be produced? Yeah, let me get it up, set up here. Right there. So Steve, our cameraman's coming in here for that view of it. So we're looking at what? You're looking at the sun, the food disk of the sun. Right, and uh, now there's no sunspots right now, but if there were, you can see them really clearly with this. All right. What was your inspiration in, in terms of putting all the effort into this? Uh, actually, it's just to share science and share knowledge. You know, that's one thing. I put a YouTube video how to do it. It's all free. Uh, and I would like people to build them and show them and show it to people and maybe take it to different schools. But uh, it's a public outreach, you know, free science, get people interested in science. Well, we appreciate your work and uh, we'll put a link to your YouTube video on how to create this solar projector on our Portland Today Facebook page. Really incredible work out here. It looks so official and then you get up close and you're like, wow, whose house is that missing from? <laughs> right, <exactly. laughs> and you said you're going to be in Lincoln City on August 21st, so I hope you get full view after all the effort you've gone to. Thanks so much, Efrain, for coming in. Tracy, I mean, can you believe this science project in the driveway here? I wasn't sure what it was when I drove up this morning, <laughs> but good to know it's all focused on the eclipse. Get busy, Kathy. I know you can do it.